So we're just going to go to the Hamza Row in Muckle Row and have a walk there. So I thought I would bring you along and have um, let you see what the Hamza Row is like. So it's uh, an island, Muckle Row, which is off the west coast of Shetland. So it's just a few miles from the, the kind of village town of Bray. And I'll um, put the camera on time lapse so that you can enjoy the drive north. Okay, so we're just going into Muggle Row now. So we're just going to go towards the Hams Mill. And the word Hams, this is the Hams Row that we're going out towards. And the, the name comes from the Old North, Hams meaning havens. So there were a couple of safe havens for boats coming in and we'll see them when we walk out beyond. What have you found? A frog. What is he? Made you look oh. viewers. <laughs> so are you joking? There's no frog. I was joking. When, when were frogs introduced to Shetland? About 1950s. 1950s, well done. Can you mind what introduced them? Uh, wasn't it like a doctor? Well, I lived oh, in Park teacher. Hall, Hansi. A teacher. A teacher, that was on Lewis and Harris. It was Dr. Bowie. Dr. Bowie introduced them. A box of frogs released in the 1950s. Fireplace. And it was the same in Lewis and Harris. Yeah, well, we've actually tadpoles that a teacher brought to teach the life cycle of frogs. And released the tadpoles in the area. They So basically, any, any land creature has been introduced. Even authors were introduced here by the Vikings. Yeah, right across the divers. Do you think I can zoom right in on them? Get them the two red throated divers. Yeah, here they come. Just dive in there, there he comes. So, red throated divers, absolutely stunning birds, very elusive. And they, they nest on freshwater locks. So, this here is freshwater, and they feed out at sea. So they'll have their nests somewhere around the water here, so you have to be really, really careful not to disturb right through the divers. And look out on any of Shetland's kind of fresh water. So this is a very beautiful walk. It's probably one of the most scenic places in Shetland to walk. And it's just stunning. I can see Bula on the horizon, our most westerly island. And it's just beautiful, beautiful to see from this, this angle, it looks completely different. So we're just gonna go and have a picnic and then head back out. <laughs> 